2023, all exposed. Plans have been concluded to hand over power. Presidency to Atiku. Hello, my wonderful people. Uh, we all know our very own brother, Atiku Abubakar. Um, is from the north. He was the vice president to uh, Chief Olushe Guobasanjo from 1999 to 2007. Atiku Abubakar was that person who was, I mean, it was not a, I mean, he, he will ask, you know, the president then for everything that goes on. He will ask him, why do you have to take this step, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he was on his back. Okay. And he was the one who also contested in 20, uh, 2019 against Buhari. Uye Ainek declared that Buhari won the very said election. Now we are hearing that why the North is insisting that they want to hold on to power that um, there is an arrangement already, we don't know, to give handover power to Atiku Abubakar to continue the race. Uh, we will watch and see, you know, man proposes, God disposes. In 2020, nobody thought that the whole world will go on a lockdown. So what we are saying is just the tip of the iceberg, new theories, and more and more will be revealed as time tells it all. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. 2023. Plans have been concluded to hand over presidency to Atiku. Simeon Akban, a finished citizen and politician of Nigeria, has claimed that some persons have concluded plans to hand over power to former Vice President Atiku Abubakar when the time comes. Atiku was the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party in 2019 presidential election and is expected to throw his heart into the ring again in respect of 2023 election. The plan is part of the premonition for the 2023 presidential election. According to Akban, who has been residing in Finland for more than a decade. Akman is well known to be a self-styled disciple of Anandi Kano and now detained leader of the indigenous pool of Biafra, IPOB. In a controversial organization agitating for the breakup of Nigeria and creation of a new nation called the Biafra Republic. The group has said that plans has been made to ensure Atiku takes over. The Fulani cartel has concluded plans to hand over presidency to Atiku on, on May 2023 in a bid to disrupt Nigeria's disintegration. This is why they are insisting on the North retaining power. We must step up our agitation for Biafra and for Dudua so that they will not have their way. We are almost home, Akwa wrote on his Twitter handle on Saturday. The general elections will be held in 18th February 2023 to elect the Vice President, House of Representatives and Senate. Winners of the elections will be inaugurated on May 29, 2023, the former date of the democracy in Nigeria. But Akwan says they have reliable information that plans have been concluded to hand over power to Atiku. How we got to know of this, we don't really know. But this is what he's saying. The plans have already been, is on ground. And um, everything is staring and looking up to Atiku becoming the president of the country. So this is where we are at the moment. Uh, they said the plans have been on ground and the... Um, some people have concluded and have finally, you know, said it that Atiku, because the reason why they are doing this, according to Akman, Akman sounds like a Kalabani. Maybe he's, I mean, I have friends that their mothers maybe are Yoruba and their father, let's say, for instance, are Igbo. So the children are both named Yoruba and Igbo names. So you might hear, for instance, the father is Igbo. You will hear the child bearing, for instance, Femi. Femi Ejofo. And you'll be wondering, yeah, the mother, you know, name. So I'm surprised. That's what I'm wondering. Akban and is an Igbo man. 
maybe the mother named him i don't know just just this is just me trying to give an analogy into the issue however is a staunch and a serious ad and follower of the biafra and believes in the struggle and says well the reason why the north is planning or asking that power be retained in the north they are very worried and scared that if a southern and comes on board power will be given to uh, i mean the country will break up and this is the reason i mean i mean it's not a hidden fact the north continue to say that if a southern and becomes the leader of this country the tendency and the very there's very high rate that the southern and will give way for the country to be disintegrated and like we all know, if anybody is fighting against the disintegration of this nation, more than any other person, that person, you know, that person, those people or set of people are the Northerners. They believe strongly that Nigeria must, be, must remain as one. And I mean, the reason is not far-fetched, yes? The reason is not far-fetched. So they believe that Nigeria must, whether you like it or not, so they are scared of the, of the, of the South, you know, becoming nigerian leaders because according to what we are hearing if a southern and take over the southern and may give way for the country to break up may allow those who wants to disintegrate may southern and may consider a peaceful uh, referendum that may see to it that the country breaks up and this is the worry and why they say no we cannot allow this to happen so according to akban he's saying well the decision is that they've decided to, you know, make it flip over and give it to uh, Atiku. But I don't understand how that is because even APC still has their own candidates. We have the likes of, we know that there are some group of persons who are rooting for the vice president who is from the south. Tinubu is also from the south, you know, looking forward to become Nigerian's president. So is the North ready? Is the North ready to sacrifice even their 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 political affiliation, whether APC to give it back to PDP, or because they want to return to power? Like we say again, time will tell. Time will reveal. We'll know exactly what it, what the issues are and why things are the way they are. It's not a distance time. Before you know it, we are there. Okay. Before you know it, we are there. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.